Hey guys, it's Rainy Nights. Before we get into the video, if you could please leave a like and subscribe, I would be very thankful to you. Today I'm going to show you how to kill Zolra in RuneScape. Disclaimer, I have zero KC. So we are going to get my first ever KC right now. Uh, some people don't like that, but I actually think it's the best kind of guide. It's basically four noobs by a noob, if that makes sense. So if you're trying to get your first KC, you want the achievement diary, you want a combat task, this is the guide for you. If you're a hardcore Iron Man or you're trying to make profit, this is the wrong guide for you. So, yeah, um, bring your personal best in slot offensive magic gear, with one exception being the Ring of Suffering RI. This item is so important, like absurdly important. If you do not have this item, you are making the difficulty go from an 8 or 9 out of 10 up to a 12 or 13. So the reason for that is because the Zolra minions have one single HP. Our magic does not have good attack speed, um, so we just can't take them out quick enough. The Ring of Suffering RI gets rid of them all once they deal damage to us a single time. It's extremely convenient and is a must. It's also the highest defensive um, defensive status ring in the entire game, so we will be tanking Jad hits uh, more likely with this on as well. So this is so, so important. I can't stress it enough. Um, this might take me between, honestly, one to five attempts. It's all based on RNG, to be honest. Um, so I'm going to record up to five attempts. If I don't do it within five attempts, I'll restart the video. Otherwise, uh, yeah, this, so just keep that in mind. But uh, our inventory is going to be one Zul Andrew Teleport to get there. Uh, these ruins are so that I can autocast Wind Surge. I'm sure there's better spells, but I don't know. I, my stats aren't amazing, right? So just working with what I have. Uh, we have the rest is so two prayer potions because my DPS is bad. So I'm going to be there a little bit longer. And I did just forget one item. I need an Anti-Venom Plus. So just make sure I have that right there. Uh, so we have one Anti-Venom Plus, two Prayer Potions, the rest are Dark Crabs, and we're going to do a little sneaky trick here, which I normally don't do in boss guides, but this boss is genuinely extremely challenging. So we will be doing a little trick with the Magic Potion, Divine Magic Potion, and the Anglerfish, which is basically we're going to eat them while still in the bank interface, and then we're going to replace those slots with additional Dark Crabs, and we will get the buffs while still... So we'll get the buffs and we'll have more food. So that is just to make things even easier for ourselves. I will not be able to talk during this boss fight because it's the same thing in real life. If I, when I'm driving a car, I cannot speak because if I do or like have a conversation, I can say like yes or no. But if I'm having a conversation with someone or explaining something while driving, it becomes a little bit hazardous. It's the same thing in this game. Um, I cannot, well, normally I do, right? I normally do talk through my... I've talked through every single walkthrough I've ever made on this channel, except for Jad, because I didn't want to redo all that to get my fire cape. Um, so same thing here. Uh, this is going to require my full concentration and is technically, yeah, I would say this is the hardest boss that we've ever covered on this channel uh, as far as Realm of Mad God and RuneScape content goes. So this is no joke. Do not listen to the haters that are like, oh yeah, it's easy. Anyone who thinks Vorkath is harder than Zol... Zora is extremely wrong. Vorkath is baby play compared to this because Vorkath is predictable and it always goes the same. Whereas Zora, without a plugin, because I will not be using a plugin, is unpredictable, RNG related, and you never know if he's doing standard attacks or if he's doing JAD attacks. It's just a mayhem. So here's the fight we have a very small U platform to fight on. He is going to be placing toxic clouds on the platform which we would like to avoid. Um, when I enter the boss room for the first time, you'll see a marked tile. That's from holding shift and right clicking on rune light. Uh, that tile is basically you always want to start there and it is a safe spot from the toxic stuff, but eventually you will have to move from there. We're not going to stay there forever, but uh, that's where we start. And um, it will note, I will note that uh, the toxic clouds, it's not the end of the world if you have to run through them. Uh, sometimes, honestly, getting DPS, like you might even see me, I might become so DPS hungry that I might even just sit in them for a little while. So this, they're not a big deal as long as you have the anti-venom. Um, so here are the, the, there's four phases. 
Okay, there are four different variations. So red Zulra is melee Zulra. You do not protect from melee for this. What you do is you walk to the sides. Up. So if he's whatever way he's facing, he's about to do like a tail swipe. So it's a very awkward kind of animation that you'll barely notice. But you want to just go two tiles to the left or right, depending on which way he's facing you. And sometimes you'll have to sit in a cloud to do that. Usually it's better to sit in a cloud than to take the melee damage and stun. Then there is turquoise, aqua, uh, zora, which is the color of the toxic blowpipe. Um, this one will do magic. So you pray for magic during that. Then you have the light green uh, kind of standard Zulra. This is the missile one. He'll be the same color as his minions. And the minions you'll want to protect from missiles as well. So when in doubt, protect from missiles on at all times. Put on magic specifically for the magic damage. So, and here's the fourth phase. The fourth phase is the problem. And the reason why this boss is going to take you multiple attempts to get your first kill count compared to other bosses. So the fourth variation is either the regular light green version of him or the turquoise aqua version of him. So either the ranged or the magic one. Sometimes, I don't know how, when, or why, there, there is a method to the madness, but it requires a bunch of chart reading and plugins and stuff. So sometimes, maybe like in the middle of the fight, you know, maybe halfway to the end, you're going to have to deal with random surprise jad moves. So what you're going to see me do is switch between magic and missiles quite frequently just in the hopes of tanking these because it will be completely random. We'll know what it happens when I do... We'll know what happens when he sends a, miss, a magic attack when I have missiles on and then you'll see me keep the missiles on for one attack and then I'll switch to magic for the next. Hopefully that made sense, but uh, really this is... I think visually watching me do the fight will be better but yeah i might rage a little and this might take up to five attempts just because of rng and the fact i'm not using a plugin to predict exactly what's going to happen so bear with me here so we are going to turn on my sound we're going to do the little drinking trick here and then we are going to teleport and yeah i will mention if you want to be super cheesy you could teleport there drop a dark crab come back to the grand exchange get a new teleport teleport again and now you'll have a free dark crab on the ground which you can Use, but I'll, I'll, I'm just going to have an empty inventory space anyway, instead. Okay, also you can use a rune pouch instead of having the two runes here like me, but I don't have a rune pouch, so wish me luck. I'm going to turn sound on and try and be quiet. Talk to this high priestess, by the way, to get permission to go there. Auto retaliate off.
So I did make some mistakes in there. Some things I do want to mention just from my experience. So Law Runes, Runite, or Zolrath. I definitely did not pay for the supplies and the mental anguish. But hey, we did it. I have my first Zolra KC. Six minutes, 38, 38 seconds. I wonder how bad that is because I, I honestly have no idea. So essentially how I felt about that boss I felt it was BS RNG madness. And I felt like the only reason that I was able to overcome it, not the only reason, but a, ma a main reason I was able to overcome it was getting some damage at the end there. Because I could have kept splashing, I could have hit zeros. Uh, obviously, every single inventory slot counted. So if I had a rune pouch um, to have a second dark crab, that would have been even less clutch. But uh, yeah, I think that's more than valid. Definitely think it's video worthy. And I did learn the muscle memory helps. Um, you need to actually practice it for yourself. The whole um, switching between these two. So what I noticed is, so it is like Jad, but unlike Jad, 
once the projectile is visible, you still have time to react. So if you see, because there is no like stomp like Jad or, you know, anything or roar or anything like that, there is no tell. It's just a random projectile that comes out of his mouth. So when you see the magic, so keep this on at all times by default for sure. And then when you see the magic, the very second that you see the red magic, just boom, switch. And then when it's coming near you, not even when it's hit your player, before it's hit your player, switch back. Because you don't need to actually, it doesn't work like... um like melee prayer flicking, you need to have it above your head when the zero hits on you. But with magic, uh, you you need to have the thing above you before the zero hits you. And then it doesn't matter if this is overhead is up when the zero hits you. So basically, you don't want to spam it. I may have spammed it like once when I got panicked. Um, you don't want to spam it. You just want to leave it on missiles. And as soon as you see the magic, just go boom. Once the projectile gets near you, but before the zero splat has hit you, you switch back. So yeah. Anyways, that's how you do Zora. My first ever kills. My first ever KC didn't get the pet. Unlucky. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.